Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today it is Sunday the 20th of September, it's around 10 to 12, so it's almost noon and I am just next to North Pier. There is the beautiful majestic Blackpool Tower, the sun in the background, that's a great view. And today I am just enjoying being outdoors and being on the promenade because it's a great day to be outdoors. You can hear the seagulls, you can hear the waves, there's that beautiful fresh Blackpool breeze going on and there's a lovely December chill to the air but it's not really that cold. So we're just going to take a walk down the prom and take a look around. I guess that is a place where no dig. Don't dig there guys. No dig. You have been told. That road looks a bit wonky. I wonder what hit that. Probably a BMW driver thinking they'll drive down the tram tracks. Take a look on Talbot Square. Counting House. The new Premier Inn. It is very good to finally see a building on that corner because for so long after we lost Yates's there was just the empty plot and the way they've done the Premier Inn I think it's very much in keeping with the area I think they've done as well as they could with that and there's our town hall and over on this side is the Ibis that is still undergoing its refurb or makeover or what if you want to call it there on the floor are the new tram tracks and they're heading up there and going up Talbot Road and they're going to be heading to the new tram hub which is being built on the old Wilco site the old Wilco store now is mostly gone well it's all gone and it's almost all cleared as well so in January I will be starting my new video series of the new subway being built which is going to close High Street for a while or at least part of High Street the tram going past there I do enjoy the sounds of the trams I did like the way the old trams sounded better that familiar old clang clang sound as the old trams funded over the tram tracks that was much better here we can see North Pier from the other side and that is where the old seawall meets the new seawall I have got a video on my channel of the fire services doing a training video there climbing up and down there that was quite a little fun video to film if I remember I'll put the link to that video at the end of this video or I'll pin a comment with that link in so you guys can see it if you want to See, the sea is coming in, but there's a long way for it to come in. North Pier is definitely my favourite pier. North Pier Theatre at the end. I've been in that theatre. 
I went in there a few years ago with my daughter. We went to see Greg Davis. It was really funny. It was a good show. There's a cenotaph, standing tall and proud. On the promenade, there's the Metropole. Very iconic looking hotel. And I do vaguely remember when it went into the Butlins. It became a part of the Butlins franchise for a while and actually had red coats. But I don't think the Metropole ever meshed well as a Butlins hotel. And all the seating here on the prom. And this seating goes all the way down there. And I've seen all photographs of these seats just being totally packed. There's hundreds of bums sat on these seats. All looking out to sea, enjoying the fresh air. I really do like this part of the promenade and it's always quieter down here. I have said this in a previous video, to come to Blackpool, I mean people aren't really coming right now for obvious reasons but when things get back to normal hopefully later next year, you come to Blackpool and you go on the beach near the Golden Mile, that's in near Central Pier and it's packed, just jump on the tram and come up few stops or even walk and come a few stops because once you get past North Pier everywhere gets so much quieter and you've got loads of places to sit look at that just seating area for hundreds of butts and we've got our lovely sandy beach and there's lots of room Depends what you're looking for, I guess, if you come here. If you want that marvellous, noisy, friendly, happy family atmosphere, just join in on Central Pier area. But if you want to have a little bit more space and things to be a little bit quieter, just take a little hike north, past North Pier, and you'll end up with all this space because even on the busiest of busiest of busy days it never oops my camera's all wonky then sorry it never ever seems to get super busy down here yes see our shadows walking down there it's taking a nice stroll down the north promenade all this space, look, it's so great. All these young seagulls there. Hello, guys. Are you enjoying the promenade? Hello. <laughs> the seagulls are not remotely scared of humans. And the adult seagulls will pill for your food if they can. If you're eating fish and chips or anything on the beach, or walking down the prom eating it, if a seagull spots an opening, they will swoop down and steal your fish. I have seen it happen. I wasn't actually filming at the time. It would have made a great video if I was filming. There's a couple walking down the prom and the woman was holding some fish and chips and she was just eating it and a massive seagull swooped in, looked as big as an albatross and it pilfered the fish right out of a container and she screamed like she was in a 1950s horror movie and her boyfriend jumped back and I shouldn't laugh, I mean, well, nobody was hurt so it wasn't like, I'm not being evil laughing, you had to be there. I mean, had it been me, I would have seen the funny side. 
But yeah, seagulls will steal your food if they want. They're not shy about doing that. Anyhow, I'm going to go up the stairs now and head to the top prom. So I am going to close this video as I go up these stairs. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe. It's nearly Christmas and I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye.